Here's a wild idea. What if shortages that we're seeing in the supermarkets and the shortages that we're seeing at the petrol stations were actually created by the people who were panic buying? This is a little bit of a different format to what I'm usually posting. Uh, there are reasons for that. I'm sure I'll cover them in a later video. However, it's nice to go back to my roots. A few of you who watch my channel, veterans of the channel, shall we say, uh, will remember my very, very first video was a walk and talk. So, uh, yeah, back to this. Uh, I've only got a few minutes, so I'm going to make it really, really quick. You can easily create an artificial shortage by convincing people that there is one. Because without actually taking time to look into whether that's true or not, a lot of people will then go out and panic buy various items. We saw this with toilet rolls at the beginning. Um, and again, we're seeing it with, you know, various different foodstuffs. And uh, a lot of people blaming Brexit and all, all the rest of it. But uh, our, our country is not incapable of producing food. We actually pay an awful lot of farmers to leave their fields fallow, to not grow anything, um, because that keeps supplies artificially small um, and what that also does is then keeps prices artificially high can't have our home product competing with uh, the european union for example um, because they would simply outcompete it it is simply cheaper to make to, you know to raise lamb in this country and, and shift it to a supermarket that's 30 miles down the road than it is to import it from new zealand but in terms of keeping the competition fair they have to keep the prices in this country artificially high um, so yeah, we don't actually have a shortage of food. There's plenty of food. The artificial shortage is created when the people panic buy and uh, the logistics systems are overwhelmed. So what happens then is more product than would normally be bought gets bought. And because that product is then out of stock, it gives the appearance of uh, there being a shortage. Which means when it is then back in stock, more people then panic buy it out. And the problem isn't a lack of that product, but the inability of the logistics chain to keep up with the temporary surge in demand. Therefore, your petrol pumps run dry. Your supermarket shops and uh, shelves are all empty. This is not because there isn't enough food to go around. It's because people have been convinced that there is. So they stockpile it and they hold more than they need and they buy normally more than they usually would. Anybody who's worked in retail, um, at least at the level of stocking, will know that retail establishments don't like holding vast amounts of stock. It doesn't make their business look as profitable as it can be. You should hold enough stock to cope with demand and not too much more. Thus, again, the shops get emptied, the petrol pumps get emptied, and uh, this continual restocking and overstocking and hoarding of the supplies is what is producing the apparent shortage. And it is only apparent. Anyway, I'm going to leave that one for today. I'm Rick Paris. This has been Fanfare for the Conscious. Thanks very much for watching. Like, sub, follow me on Odyssey. Take care. Stay free, think free, and always act free. See you next time.